All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I've got uh, Lucas Flemmer from Del Rapids St. Mary's with me today. The recently graduated Lucas Flemmer. Can can you kind of sum up your athletic career at Del Rapids St. Mary's? Um. Yeah. You know, it was a really good experience. Uh, it was fun um, having my dad as a coach, and I played football, basketball, track, and I did some powerlifting in there as well, and uh, just tried to do my best at all those. What's it like to be in a small school like that? Um, it seems like Del Rapids St. Mary's really cares about sports, but they also care about grades and, you know, doing things the right way. It's kind of a churchy school, if you will. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, it's always fun having a smaller community. You know, everyone's kind of invested and they're all trying to help you and um, really just a kind of family atmosphere, I'd say. So I'm going to pull up to 100 meter dash from the state track meet and uh, we're going to play the play it through it you're in lane five in this one like what are your thoughts kind of as you settle into the blocks there like what are you thinking about um I knew I really had to get out good in this race because I hadn't been fantastic out of the blocks and I knew my other competitors were really good and I feel good about my late speed in the race but my early speed is kind of where I struggled so I was just really thinking push and get out so we're gonna the gun is up take me through the race because you really pulled away from 50 meters on yeah, the blocks felt great for what I usually do. And then uh, about halfway through the race, when I was pretty even, I knew I was like, okay, I can take this to the next level here and just uh, made it happen. How'd you feel about the 10 8 5? Was that a personal best? Yeah, that was. Yep. Yeah, that okay. felt really good to do because I uh, hadn't really PR'd in my races from the year before. And then that was a pretty big PR. So. So I'm going to pull up the 200 meter dash. We're going to look at that too. Um, how difficult is that event? Kind of the last event of the track meet for sprinters, if you will. Um, you've run the 400, the 100, and you, you've got to do the 200 yet. Um, how, how hard is it to run that race when you're tired? You know, it was pretty tough being my eighth event of the weekend, but I knew I just had one more race left and my legs were a little bit you know, tired and sore, but I kind of felt that last year and kind of knew it'd be coming. So I was ready for it. So tell me about this race. Uh, we're going to be coming out of the blocks here in a minute. Um, what's your drive face like getting out of there and running the curve? Um, I just try to get out as hard as I can every time, but seems like the curve isn't always the best for me, but. Tell me about the, this moment right here. You're starting to pull ahead now. Yeah, I saw those guys out ahead a little bit and kind of just naturally take over that next gear, I'd say. And uh, competitive instinct just is just going. So we won three events at the state track meets, 100, 200, and 400. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on the 400 meters? It's a tough race. <laughs> and that monkey jumps on your back late in the race. How, how do you feel about the 400? Yeah, you know, it's always fun because all the people in that race, you know, they have they have guts because it's not an easy race no matter how you run it. And uh, I try to get out hard usually, but sometimes it just doesn't happen and you just kind of have to adapt and stay mentally tough through the race. So I want to ask you about uh, Joby Wolf. Uh, you both yeah. graduated uh, now and you've seen each other on the track for four years. Um you, you don't call it a rivalry, but tell me about that relationship with Joby Wolf and competing against him all these years. Yeah, I just have so much respect for him. You know, we've ever since we were younger been running against each other and, uh, you know, we've both won some and um, yeah, he's just a great competitor. And I think we drive each other to try to be our best. So that was always fun running against him. So you're a football player, multi-sports guy, if you will. Um and playing for your dad, um, how, how important was football to you, I guess, in the realm of athletics? Yeah, that was, it was really important. That's kind of, I'd say it was my first love in sports, just kind of growing up around that. And uh, it was just always so fun. I could learn so much from my dad and we always had it on the TV and I was always around the, around the guys and was ball boying and water boying since I was really young. And yeah, I've always just loved that. How was it playing for your dad? Um, you guys have a good relationship, watch film. Was he hypercritical of you at all? Yeah, you know, I kind of like to be like to be picked apart a little bit more so then I know what to get better at. And I think it really helped me and could kind of ask him some questions and 
ideas that I had and just kind of see what happened. I think it really helped me as a player for sure. When you were a freshman, uh, you were part of that state championship football team. Uh, Connor Libis was on that team, Ashawn Roach, Valandra, uh, a good friend of mine. Can you maybe explain like um, how those guys affected you, how, how they may have shown you how to do things or train or just doing things the right way? Yeah, those guys were huge. You know, I think they really showed uh, showed me and all the guys how to do things well and do it right because that leadership is huge, especially when you're young. So if you never see how to do it right, then you're not likely to be able to do it right yourself. And I think they really just set me and all the guys down a right path for the future. So I want to ask you about like your mentorship as a, as a senior this year. You ran on a bunch of relays and stuff throughout the year with the guys, maybe younger guys. Uh, how do you feel you impacted those those young people? Um, you know, I hope I showed them how to do it the right way and hopefully how to be successful. And uh, um, I really just tried to, you know, create a team atmosphere around the things I did and try to make sure everyone's involved in everything. Back to the state track meet for a minute, but um, did were you expecting three gold medals? Um, you know, Class B has some tough spinners down there. What were your expectations going in you know I was I was just hoping to do my best to be honest because the year before I came up close so I was like this year I was like you know I knew I had the potential if I did my best I could potentially win all three I knew I could lose all three but I just knew I had to go out there and just give it my all what was that experience like I mean you're, you're done with the 200 you got the three gold medals uh I, I mean did you talk to your dad uh, what kind of family response did you get to to winning those golds? Yeah, that was that was really fun. You know, I had both my parents there, and I was talking to them. My brother, who was also on the team, um, had grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles there. Um, it was really fun talking with them, and then you know, just kind of hanging out with my team and having fun. I, I just want to ask you about basketball briefly, but uh, you played basketball. How was your experience playing basketball over there? Yeah, I had. I had fun playing basketball, you know, um, we had, I'd say some pretty good seasons while I was there. And uh, yeah. Tell me about your future. Um, you're going to be running track somewhere. Tell me about that and, and why you're going there. Yep, I'm going to uh, South Dakota State University to run track and uh, really excited to do it. I went there and really liked all the coaches and teammates and they really just made me feel welcome there. And uh, facilities are great and I'm really looking forward to it. What kind of, uh, uh, you know, what are you going to major in? Do you know, do you have any idea? I'm not sure yet, to be honest. Awesome. Still trying to figure that out. <laughs> well, Lucas, thank you for a quick minute today. Uh, it was really impressive to see you do that at the state track meet, and we wish you nothing but luck and good luck in the future. Thank you.